In this video I'll show you 8 ingenious tricks with salt that everyone should know. Let's start with number 1. Did you know that you can use salt in your washing machine? You just put the clothes you want to wash in the washing machine and then, instead of using fabric softener on your clothes, you should use salt. This is because fabric softener contains slaughterhouse waste and you certainly don't want that in your laundry. Thanks to the salt you can do without fabric softener altogether. So skip the fabric softener and grab some regular salt instead. You only need 2 teaspoons of this. Put them in the top of the detergent compartment, exactly where you would otherwise put the fabric softener. Add the washing powder as usual and then close the machine and start the washing process. So there is absolutely no chance here. Salt now ensures that the clothes become really soft. If you want to add a scent you can also add an essential oil of your choice. When the laundry is done you will notice that everything is really soft and you don't need any fabric softener. Did you know that you can also spread salt on your sofa? I'll show you the benefits now. You need a tablespoon of salt and put it in a bowl. You also need baking soda. Now take 5 to 6 tablespoons of this and put it into the bowl. Now you can also add an essential oil of your choice. You only need a few drops of this and add it to the bowl. In the next step you have to mix everything together well so that everything is really nicely mixed. Now grab one of these shakers and pour the mixture into it. If you don't have one at home it doesn't matter, you can also spread it by hand. It's just a little easier with this. Once you've put it in the shaker you can spread it on your sofa. Make sure you spread it evenly over all the surfaces. But what are the advantages of it? Baking soda removes bad odors. This means that if there are already bad odors in your sofa the baking soda will remove them. Salt removes moisture from the sofa. The moisture ensures that bacteria can spread, which in turn cause bad odors. The essential oil is now there to make the sofa smell really nice. Leave it on the sofa for about 5 to 6 hours and then simply vacuum it off. And you've used the salt perfectly on your sofa. Trick number 3 is about putting salt in the candles. If you regularly light tea lights you should put salt in them because it can save you a lot of money. Grab some salt and the tea lights. The first step is to light the tea lights. Because before we can put the salt in here the wax should have melted a bit so that this trick really works well. As soon as the candles have been burning for about 50 minutes you can add salt to them. Half a teaspoon is enough for each candle. In this test I put a little salt in one side and nothing at all in the other. Because then you can see the clear difference later. After I have put the salt in here I simply let the candles continue to burn. 30 minutes later you can already see that almost all the wax has melted in the left candle while the right candle where the salt is still has a lot of hard wax in it. Later on you can see the difference more and more clearly. And at the very end the candle where we added the salt burns about 25% longer. Therefore by simply adding some salt to your candles you can make them last longer and burn much longer. So you need to try it. That brings us to trick number 4. If you also have a pot that is burned from the bottom like mine here then salt is also the right choice for it. Because you can also use salt as a cleaner. In this case best in combination with the potato. You should now cut the potato so that the cut surface is free. With this you now go into some salt so that you have a good amount of salt stuck to the potato. Now go back to your pot and start rubbing it on the surface, all over the burnt parts. The stock from the potato in combination with the salt can ensure that the burnt stains disappear very quickly. After only a few times of wiping you can see that I have already been able to loosen some of the stains. So we keep wiping until all the burnt stains have completely disappeared and in the end we only have to wipe over with a damp cloth to dry everything again. In between you can dip the potato in the salt every now and then so that a smaller amount of the salt is back on here. The end result is definitely something to be proud of. And you can even use salt in your shoes. If they have become damp because you have been out walking in the wet 
or you have been sweating a lot in your shoes in the summer, salt can also help you. All you have to do is put some salt in your shoes. Of course make sure there is some everywhere. That means I put a small amount in here and then move the shoe back and forth a little bit so that the salt is really nicely distributed in here. It's best to leave it in your shoes overnight. During this time the salt can draw the moisture out of the shoes so that they are completely dry again the next day. This way you can also prevent your shoes from starting to stink. Because the stink is usually caused by bacteria which can only really spread through moisture. The next morning all you have to do is grab the hoover and suck all the salt out of your shoes. And you've already benefited from this ingenious trick. And that's not all, because did you know that you can use salt in your fridge? It has two really ingenious functions in the fridge. Firstly, it ensures that your vegetables stay crisp and fresh for much longer. And it can also remove odors from the fridge. All you have to do is put a small bowl of salt in your fridge. It's best to place it near your vegetables. Salt draws the moisture out of the air. This would otherwise be absorbed by the vegetables and make them less crunchy much quicker. This way you can avoid the whole thing and also make sure that the fridge no longer smells so bad. Trick number 7 is about cleaning the toilet with salt, which also works wonderfully. But you shouldn't just pour salt down the toilet. You have to mix it with other ingredients beforehand. For this we also need water and the juice of 2 lemons. We need 1 liter of water. Now we squeeze the lemons so that we get the juice directly. Then you add this to the water and finally we need the salt. You need 3 tablespoons of this, which you now also add to the mixture. Now you should mix everything together really well. Now put this mixture into your toilet, preferably so that there is some everywhere. Make sure you get every little corner of your toilet. Let it sit in your toilet for about 30 minutes. During this time the citric acid and salt can ensure that all possible limescale and urine stains are removed. When the time is up open the toilet again, grab your toilet brush and give it another good wipe. Then flush again and your toilet is clean again and all thanks to a little salt, citric acid and water. Another really ingenious trick is to pour salt over your broom. Because over time the bristles get dirtier and even harder and you can counteract that with a little salt and some other ingredients. I'll show you how to do it now. All you need is a container in which you can put your broom. You should now pour hot water into it. So much that the entire bristles of your broom are under water at the end. You also need a cup of vinegar which you simply add to the water. And last but not least we need salt. You should now take 50 grams of this which you also simply tip into the water. Place your broom in this mixture, stir well and leave it in the mixture for about 6 to 12 hours. This will make the bristles really clean again and also make them nice and soft. At the end you should rinse it out completely and let it dry before using it again. Would you also like to know 6 ingenious tricks with baby oil that everyone should know? Then be sure to watch the video I'm linking to you here. You would make me really happy if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel.